Channel O on Radar Radio, me, Cass Kid, and I'm happy to say I'm here. Genius, mercy. You've yes. come all the way from Germany. Yeah, Let me right. just say this. You've come all the way from Germany to be right here. In right, man. The Radar Radio Studios. Nice to, Welcome. Nice to join you, bro. Now, firstly, Genius, I want to know, you know, who are you? What are you about? Because I've been following you for like two years from your first upload mm -hmm. till now. Your, your debut EP is out, it's out now. Yeah. Diversity. But let's get to know you, the artist. So who is Genius Mercy? Like, um, yeah, man. Um, first, my first um, experience with music was like when I was 14 years old. Start like I was deep in the graffiti scene at the, at this time and was like whole doing the graffiti thing and then met some people there like DJs and other MCs producers and stuff and then I got like about these guys uh, into the music and there was one good friend of mine and he got this Fruity Loops version two at this at this time and I was like totally um, into it man I was totally making have uh, had fun with to do. Uh, this music thing and stuff, and then yeah, I man, all, all the time to now, I really make like it's my roots came from hip hop, and this was like the beginning of, of all the music thing I did, and um, yes, yeah, uh, the main the main time I was like doing it like on, on on the side time because I was working like in, in the past like as a steel worker, and after that I like steel working like on from from seven to to five, and after that going to the studio to tonight, and this was like my my daily my daily thing like about two three years. Until uh, I start earning my first money, like with music for commercials and stuff, and um, yeah, now like three years for like I do this like four years ago, start doing the com commercial music, and because uh, of that I don't have the money. I got the time to quit the job yeah. and just doing music, and it's now like for two years I just do just do the music thing, and working now at the moment for a film company in Berlin. It's called Modest Department and um, they really give me much opportunities to um, realize my dreams with music. They put much money in, into my studio thing and my visions and yeah man, now I'm sitting here with you, right? <laughs> you know, you made, you made it sound so easy. It's like, yeah. <laughs> and I think what made it, like what makes it special is that, you know, I've seen you, I've tracked you online for two years. Yeah. And we've, you know, we've, we've had time to speak outside yeah. of the studio. Took you down to co-op, like you got yeah. your bananas, like you had your English breakfast. But yeah. I don't know. I think you're like a perfect example of like people who make music in their bedrooms. To now, it's, yeah. this is your job. It's like so. I want to focus on how you've managed to become. You started as a steel worker. Yeah. Like you make music for adverts like Adidas, Converse. Yes. Like brands. These are big brands yeah. that yeah. we're talking about. So, you know, what's it like moving from bedroom to kind of boardroom, like? Yeah studio spaces like how how does that work yeah I mean, that was like a big it was like a long long term thing you know like it, it was always my dream to to live from the music to do it like the whole time and um, but like in the past because I, I, could, I got no options to earn money with this so I had to do like a normal job and like my family roots are from like steel working roots and so my uh, father put me like into a, I work in his car, at his work at, at a steel worker and it was like like always I, I felt like I'm not in the right place you know yeah, like yeah, I was yeah. working there always got my headphones in it and listened to my beats and listened to other other music and was still dreaming about this you know and then a uh, um, big thing in my life was like for three or four years ago I met a friend fr friend of mine in my hometown in West Germany in a, co a city called Münster and um, he was telling me about that he wanna making a film company and, and he was think uh, say, uh, he said to me that I mean we, we want a musician guy who makes all the music stuff because we want to make like unique music for our clients and all that stuff and I was like hey, yeah let's, let's do that man and um, like how, how, how I said before, like you got on uh, twenty times when you make a favor for one person, and they offered you, okay, when we when we get it and when we make it big, you get your money and stuff. Like on nineteen times, it, it doesn't work, and this time it works, and they were still getting big, like fast, and it was like was it was a crazy time. Like even like the last three years was so much things happen uh, uh, in the thing, and I. Um, yeah, and this, we we start like with, with three projects. Then the first, then there comes the first Red Bull job, and then was like they come in Nike, Adidas, Converse, and Mercedes, and all, all that, and then like in, in really fast time. And so I I I wasn't 
be able to realize what happened at 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 that moment and um now I was travel now I was moving to Berlin like half a year ago and now I'm living in Berlin and um really much things happened there man. and yeah. um uh my first my, my my first aim was like to make um like like beats for other artists but like and because like of my work and I still got and I got a family got a child and so and from I ain't got that much time to go to other people's studios so I always work in my home studio where I got my little place and and produce all the things there and um and now it's like um, this. This was the reason why I started with edits and stuff, you know, yeah, because yeah. like I, for for this one I don't need some some artists and stuff. I just got got the yeah. sample or start start with the idea, and and do that, and um, yeah, man. Now and now it's great. Though. I'm really happy at the moment because like many things happens and like even the connection with you, we, we, we get in connect on SoundCloud. Now I'm here in the studio yeah. making interviews and shit. This no, you do crazy, as well. Right? Yeah. We tried to arrange this so many times. I was in Mexico. Yeah. Then when I came back, you was in New York. Yeah. So like, you travel from New York to wherever it's Amsterdam, wherever it's like. Everywhere. Yeah. How, what's it like bringing your music across different countries? Because you were, you were saying that, you know, you find it hard to kind of break with the labels. Yet, the commercial guys are. Yeah. Are, are yeah. Yeah. You. Yeah. For me, it's like I just feeling like um, really. I really appre appreciate the options I got, and I really be honest. Um, what's the right word? I'm feeling like humbled, or, 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 or that, that I got these opportunities right now because, like, I really was dreaming about this like a um, long time ago. You know, yeah. like, and, and even like in tough times, you know, like I never stopped believing in this. That, that it's one, one day could could happen, and like, yes, when when I was in New York, when it was uh, when it got, just got help from Mexico, it was there on the. On a Netflix uh, um, c commercial, we, we we shoot there with some German artists there, and um, I, I still got like some friends like in Brooklyn, and uh, his name is Cupid Ramon, and I do some music with him, and I was like one year ago was in New York the first time in Brooklyn, and um, yeah, and, like even on Amsterdam or whatever country it is, I like I really like appreciate the the the, the thing that I can show people music and all the connections through music and even like when you ain't got the la language right like uh, yeah. when you got in other countries they just hear your tracks and you just you're just uh, totally connected with the people and they show you the love back and I feel, I'm, I'm feeling great like at the moment yeah, yeah, yeah. I really I really appreciate it and, and I can't it's, skip past the fact you mentioned you have a child yeah you're called genius mercy so, yeah. <laughs> so there's technically a baby mercy so what's yeah. it like being a dad producer you're doing your dream job like you're getting paid uh, to do music for adverts like what's it like you know with family life as well yeah this it's it's not in the in, in the beginning it's not that easy first of all i have to say like i without my wife i couldn't be here because like she make the the whole home stuff and ho ho she, she cares about when i'm traveling or when i'm in the studio stuff she making all the all the homework and and make, get my back clean. Like, yeah. uh, how can I say it? And um, uh, it's crazy. It's like like a little bit of a dream, like for me at the moment, because like I always dream like, like uh, about that. And like, like I said, and now I can be able to show my baby like. Uh, it's like to grow up with music and like it's normal to go in the studio and when you want to record something you can record it now at the moment. And, she, and, and my child, she's now getting fallen this year, and. Um, She's like like a fan. She's my biggest fan. Like yeah. with, with my wife together, and um, it's like like heartwarming moments. You know, like when you're in the studio, you're making your beats, and then your child comments and like, ah, oh, but dad, please, please once again, I want to hear that and stuff. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yeah, no problem. And then she want to sit like on, on, on my legs, and she want to play the piano, and I do to, to, to some drums to it and stuff, and. Uh, uh, like one track, I record like her voice and do her voice into a track, like a hit, like a hidden little, little bit. Yeah. So just when when she grow up later, I can show you here. That's your first track when you was like two, wow. <laughs> and uh, uh, it's crazy. It's not it's not that easy, I have to say, because like, like even like I got my work and then you get this music stuff and I have to and and, and some sometimes like at the moment I ain't got that much time for my family and sometimes it's, it's a little bit. Like mad feelings uh, uh, when you uh, not be able to to be there like every day and and she, then I'm like in New York and we Skype in the day well, how are you, where are you let's play on the playground and stuff and like, ah, come the next next week <laughs> and we we'll, we'll do it then um, but like in the end like 
I'm proud of my wife and I'm proud of my child. They're really support, supporting me like as, as, as much as they can uh, with, with my music and they're still like believing in my dream. They, they still, at the moment, it's not, not more just my dream, it's our dream like to, 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 to do something with, with all that. And um, uh, yeah, like, 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 I, like I said, I really appreciate the, the, the time at the moment and um, really want to do that like every day, man. Yeah, spread yeah. the good vibes and all that shit, you know. It's, no worries, man. And yeah. You are here for a special reason. EP. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. <laughs> no problem. Um, we're going to go track by track. We're going to break it down. Yeah. Remix the track as well. But yeah. for the people watching, for the kids who are in their bedrooms, right in front of their keyboards, mm. right in front of their laptops, got no money and want to get a lot of money from music, like what would be your advice to the, to the boys and girls? out there that wants to do music yeah like my my advice like on this case is like when i started start doing money i ain't got no money i uh, started doing, doing music i ain't got no money um like when i to be honest like when i was like 16 17 18 like in the, this time i started with rip off software because like we ain't got no money we started like in doing doing uh doing uh, music like in a friend's room he got the software and he got this keyboard stuff and we started there i i, I think like it's it's like easy to say, but like when you really want that, you know, when you really want making music, you got options, you got opportunities. When you, maybe you have to connect with some other guys who have this thing, and then you can start from there to to the next step or to the next level. And um, like we can we can all be happy. Like at this moment, like it's not so much not so much expensive like be in the past to to get some software or to get a MIDI keyboard to to start. And you ain't need that much, you know. Like like I see so many. Uh, like as I said, I start with Fruity Loops and it was version two. And in in in, in, in the past it was so whack. There was whack sound. It, it wasn't that good. Like at the moment now, because like I changed quick to other softwares. And I was like a year ago at a friend's place, and he was he's producing like for um, bigger um, German rap artists and stuff, and making really nice beats. And then was in the studio, and I saw he was producing with Fruity Loops, and I was like, man, what are you kidding me, man? You were producing with this one? And I was like, yeah, man, look at this change a lot and stuff. And I was like, oh man, that's crazy. And so, so in the end, like you have to, you, okay, you need a computer. You need a computer, then you need a MIDI keyboard, and it just c could be like a 50 bucks MIDI keyboard, just uh, have to function. And then you need your software, like maybe, maybe Fruity Loops or like Cubase or what, what, whatever, able to know what, what, what you want to produce with, and, and just, just start. I mean, when now we got the internet, you got so many opportunities to, to do some. And, and I think, like, in the end, it's just about the ideas. You can make, like, we really with the, with the, with the cheaper software, you can bang some other guys who, may, who get the biggest studio because, like, it's all about the idea, you know? And, um, yeah, even this, like, the, the, the thing in this um, diversity EP I, I try to, to do is, like, to mix all that, all that influences that I got in the last years, you know, like, you hear, like, there's some, some samples or so things, like, from, from different, uh, like, from South Africa, from Mali, I got rhythm, rhythm breaks from Africa, like, even, like, from the Brazilian thing, and, um, I like to to mix all that culture stuff, you know. Like I was growing up with an, a, a, like a mixed culture community. There was a lot of Arabs and African people, and so I was really like into African culture and Arabic culture. And uh, this was like for me like even normal to do this, you know, like uh, yeah. because it was my daily daily day, daily thing to hang out with this and to ha uh, to hear the music of of, of these people, and um, yeah. So when people listen to your diversity tape, when they listen to your four tracks. What do you want them to take from your music, and why should they listen to you, Genius Mercy? <laughs> what they should take with it? I, I, I don't know really. I, I, I would say just listen to it, man. It's like, for me, I think it's like a little bit new thing, because like how I said, I mixed like, really different cultures. The, the main beats like based on like trap rhythms, like on 70 BPM things, and um, but like how I said, I. I put like African percussions in it, like, to put like the samples from like like uh, the tour rack music and stuff, you know, like from the, the from the desert music from, from North Africa and stuff. And um, mix it mix it together with Brazilian percussions and um, my European influences and all the stuff. Yeah. That, you know, some things you that you ain't recognized because you're, what is your style? Because like you do it all of, all, all the time, and then, then other people come to you, mate. Hey man, that's crazy how it come to your idea. And I was like. I just do that, you know? uh, and um, I think 
it's uh, just just to open your mind like in the end like when when you listen to the to the EP it's just like it shows you like opportunities what you can do you know like um, you don't have to when you like, even like when you make trap is this one one thing I I, I think like now with this, all this trap thing is going, getting so big and you got this EDM trap thing that's not my thing it's like mm, to um, and you got this this like this um, trap thing like from ATL or like this Chicago drill thing and stuff like it's, what is really hard and, uh, for me, for me, it's important to say, man. This I even listen to those tracks, and I, I, I I'm a fuck with it, man. But it's like in the end, it's not, it's not, the, it's not the end. What you can do, you know, like you can. This is like for me, it's like the, the, this type of rhythm since it's just the bass, and then you can. This is just the bass for my music, and then I put all the other other things into it, man, and mix it, uh, mix it around. And this is like uh, I love to create you know, new things, you know, like in new rhythms or things like this, where people can like. Bring me what? Okay, what what could be next? You know. Genius. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad we had this conversation. This yeah. Me too. Whole conversations come from SoundCloud. Yeah. <laughs> Two years ago. Yeah, man. SoundCloud. Yeah, yeah. yeah man. Radar Studios. That's right. It's been a pleasure, bro. Nice. Thanks. Sick. That's it. Uh -huh. Nice. <laughs> cool, bro. Yeah. <laughs> make some music. Yeah. Now we can go to the good part. Man. <laughs> <laughs>